so let us uh, start with the question so we have a car which accelerates from rest at a constant rate alpha for some time after which it decelerates at a constant rate beta to come to rest so if the time elapsed is t so t is the total time of the journey you have to evaluate what is the maximum velocity attained by the car and the total distance traveled by the car so if you want to uh, draw the uh, graph of velocity versus time in case of a uniform acceleration it will be a straight line right okay so it so your maximum uh, velocity attained will be alpha beta upon alpha plus beta into t okay that is your v max and the distance traveled will be alpha beta upon alpha plus beta into t square by 2 right so let me solve this right so what we have so this is velocity and this is time first the car is accelerating so uh, let us say it will be a straight line right so here the acceleration is alpha and then it will decelerate with beta right and comes to rest so at the initial position at, at the final the velocity is zero can you see that so at at the peak of this triangle so the height of this triangle will gives you the maximum velocity right so if i apply so if i show it like this suppose the car starts from a then it uh, up to b it has an acceleration alpha and then after that it decelerate with an acceleration beta up to c right so initial velocity was zero and the final velocity was zero at this point the velocity was vm right hmm. so from a to b let us say the time is t1 and from b to c the time is t2 right hmm. so if we apply equation of motion between a and b so we can say vm will be what it will be alpha t1 right hmm. u is zero and from yes. b to c you can say your final velocity is zero initial velocity is vm and minus beta t2 right hmm. so now we have two equations so from this we can calculate v uh, t1 as v1 by alpha t2 as vm by beta right beta hmm. so we know the sum of the times right we know what is t1 plus t2 it is it it is equal to vm times 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta got it now this t1 plus t2 is t right hmm. so vm in terms of alpha beta will be alpha beta into t upon alpha plus beta right so we know what is the maximum velocity attained now, if you want to find the total distance, you can see that the, the car does not have uh, the change the direction of motion. It is always moving in the right direction, right? Mm. So, the, so the distance covered as well as the displacement both will be same. Yeah. Mm. So the area under velocity time graph will gives you the total displacement, right? Mm. Do you know this? Uh, yes. Uh, integral V dt is your total displacement. Mm. Okay. So now if I take the area, so it will be half into base, base is time and height is Vm, right? And half into T and Vm is alpha beta T upon alpha plus beta, right? Mm. So that comes out to be alpha beta T square by two alpha plus beta. So you can apply this. So let me write an important concept here, area under velocity time graph gives displacement okay 